Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode four of I Want to Know. And today's episode is a few, but it all ties together. So I want to know. How old were you when you first started riding? What did you learn to ride on? And then, what was your first actual bike? So some of you, it might be the bike you learned to ride on was your first bike. But for me, this is how my story goes. later compared to some others out there in the sense of I didn't start riding until I was 14 so you might think that's young some in Australia will be like what took you so long so I started riding I was 14 on my uncle's old 1975 Yamaha TY 175 that was bought out to around 200 cc's. Now we borrowed the bike from him. He's living down at Seaford at the time. There was a little park, a little reserve just down the road there. Circular, had a bit of a mound with some rocks around it and then grass around the outside of this bit of a hill that kind of just went right around and it was awesome it made me learn a little bit about mechanics and all that things I found out there was no oil in the transmission when we first went for a few rides and wondering why we had to try and yank it into gear can't try it in so that happened learned about mixing two-stroke trying to get the right mixture and changing spark plug so that kind of all helped now my cousin he used to love trying to get it in the top gear and just try and go flat out see how fast we can get it go around the outside it's like a speedway it was pretty fun and then i was trying to do a bit more of the trickiest stuff and use it as a trials bike and so we're trying to go over these few rocks and that here and there, learn how to use that clutch, use the suspension. And that was fun. That was a grand old time. And we did that for a few years. Until I, you know, life kind of got in the way a bit. Don't mind me, I'll just stop here for something and we'll resume this in a second. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. Just had to make a little quick stop off at Bunnings. I think I've mentioned them a few times now in the videos. Maybe they can endorse a bolt bucket. There's a few bolts from there that are on here. So, back from where we left off, is, I was 14, is when I started to learn to ride. I learned to ride on an off-road Yamaha TY175 trials bike that my uncle used to uh, ride observed trials in. And he bought it out to around 200cc. But it is still, at the end of the day, a trials bike. It's no race type thing. It's for that slow speed stuff. So that was, that was fun. That, that's what got me hooked on motorcycles. Is, you know, riding, riding that around just to go from my house just down the street a little bit to this reserve. 
so somewhat illegally. Sometimes we walk it down just in case. But, you know, when you're a kid, teenager, you do that sort of stuff. You go ride where you, you can, really. And it's so fun. My mum told me beforehand that she started to ride around the same age, actually, at 14, and should ride all around McLaren Flat. Well, this is a while ago now, and you could kind of get away with some of that. These days it's a fair bit harder, and you're going to probably get a slap on the wrist. But she told me, if you ride that thing, you're going to get hooked. She was right. I got hooked. I got hooked for life. I'll tell you about the very first bike I ever owned. And like this one, right there, it was a Kawasaki. My first bike privately from someone down at a place called Victor Harbour, which is down south. My mum and I, we went down, drove down, cousin as well, just in case. I don't know why. Uh, and we went and checked out a Kawasaki ZZR 250. Years ago when I first got my learners, after my mum thought it would be a great idea, I actually went and did, after riding her kind of dirt bike dual sport thing that she had at the time around, kind of legally. Well, we went did the license and all, and, and needed a bike, so we went down, found this online somewhere, went down for a drive to Victor Harbour, and sorted it out. Now this thing, was this nice Z purple kind of look to it, you know, metallic. And all I could ride back then was a 250, but couldn't be one of the 250 two-stroke kind of race bikes, you know, that you sell kicking around. So you had your likes of the FZR 250, the the CBR 250RR, like the MC22s and all that, which were, you know, fast for what they are, you know, inline four cylinder, revs of bloody more than a mosquito. So I found this ZZR 250, and being a bit over six foot, I sat on it. And before I had any problems either as well, took it for a ride and quite enjoyed it. 50 carburetor, it had no fuel gauge, so you had to kind of rely on basically how many kilometres you'd done. Just like this bike actually. So that was a fun few times of um, quickly chucking into reserve and getting to a servo uh, as soon as I can just in case and testing the limits of the bike to my potential as well finding flat spots twice through the rep range is that for a sunset it's not right there yet but just getting there picked it up from down at Victor Harbour this bike and I rode it back home to Morford Vale, or Huntfield Heights at that time. And I loved it. Again, I was hooked. I used to try and ride that thing everywhere, as much as possible. And it kind of got to that stage where it didn't matter what the weather was. I didn't care. I was about 21 at that time. And I finally owned my first motorbike. Rain, hail or shine, I was out on it. And I'd, I'd try and go everywhere. Go through all the hills, do rides much like this. So it got to a stage where I needed a car to drive in that was somewhat reliable. And I ended up trading it for a car. I don't know, it was a bit of a disappointment. But 
It wasn't long after I found myself another bite on my full license by that time. So unrestricted, I could ride whatever bike I wanted to. So as you do, go straight from a little 250 to 1100cc FJ Yamaha. Because, hey, let's uh, just grip it and rip it and hold on for dear life. It gives you a little bit of an insight of where I've come from. What I first learned to ride on to my very first bike to coming to today after owning quite a few bikes in my time some new, some old, and all styles, all shapes and sizes. So now you've heard my story, I want to hear yours. I want you to comment below. You might not give this a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You know, it's, it's free to subscribe, but it can't cost you anything. And tell me, what did you learn to ride on? What was your first bike? Did you get hooked straight away like I did? Chuck it down below. You know I'll get back to your comments. I love reading them. I love knowing more about you guys, my viewers, the ones watching it, the ones that support me. And one last thing. At the moment, while I'm filming this, I'm sitting around 58 subscribers. If that number bumps up to 100 subscribers, I will reveal the man behind Bolt Bucket. I will take off his helmet and you can witness what lies beneath. So like this, share it around, tell your friends, tell your family, tell the guy down the street or whoever else. I kind of sold up from you bike beers and brews, I hope you don't mind. You're a legend, keep up your content mate, I love it. I'll see you next time though.